Welcome to See the Stories, everyone. So this is a signature segment of the three-hour news show. Now, it is just a matter of hours if the government decides to start with the Ramadan month tonight. So we'll have Suhoor and all that. And tomorrow we'll be fasting from the start of the sunrise until the sundown for, for the entire month. Are you ready for it? Ahmed? Yes, it's so exciting. Uh, it is. In spite of, uh, I just realized that I haven't prepared my menu for a whole Ramadan. Yes, yeah. It's very important. Yes, and yes. during uh, this Islamic holy month, one of the most important meals will be the pray down or sahur, a meal. Now, unfortunately, there are those who go about with incorrect eating habits, which can leave them unwell, unfortunately. Well, one of the most common mistakes is eating too much. Uh, it should be me. Oh, this should be me as well. <laughs> During sahur, and instead of feeling full, eating too much can actually lead to digestive problems. Not just that, it can also lead to weight gain, some drink too much during sahur. Although this may quench thirst, it can also leave one prone to nausea. Oh my god, <laughs> I haven't thought of that. Yeah. I thought like you can drink as much as you want during sahur so that you can actually last longer in, in terms of your thirst. But that's not very good if you have nausea during the day. Yeah, my, my mom told me always like that. You should drink a lot, but I, I think we need to put at the maximum capacity. Don't go far from that, right? Yeah, just enough. Yeah. All right. Okay, so since we'll be fasting very soon, we must take care in maintaining our health. And what do you usually do to maintain your health while fasting? That's going to be discussed during yeah. our discussion today. And Akhir, I know this is something very important, but usually during Zahur, I'd like to eat anything that I like, something spicy, <laughs> something, you know, maybe coffee to yeah. keep you awake during the day. I don't know if it's you know, correct or not. Yeah, 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 yeah. For me, like, uh, common thing, uh, common sense for me, it's like, put a lot of, as uh, a lot <laughs> yes. of things that into your stomach and you believe that you will survive until my grave. Unfortunately grave, but not. Could be it wrong, should yeah. be wrong, right? So likely we have clinical nutrition specialist, Dr. Putri Sakti here with us today to advise us of a more balanced nutritional intake while also boosting our immunity during the holy month. So, hello, Dr. Puktiri. Finally, Hi. you're hello. here. Hello. Finally, we see you. We in met person. you offline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we met you offline. It was like two years ago or something yes. here in the Three Hour That's right. Okay, so yeah. let us uh, begin this uh, discussion because it is something that people don't know what to do sometimes. Sometimes they just want to, you know, oh my God, I'm going to fast for the whole day. I need to eat something that I really like. They don't care whether it's healthy, nutritious, or it is something that you need to actually prolong the whole day of fasting, right? So, what highly nutritious food will be excellent to keep us uh, healthy during uh, the Ramadan month? I mean, you can actually explain more. What is the best nutritious uh, food that we have to, you know, consume? Okay. Uh, of course, first we need to eat uh, nutritious food like balanced diet. Mm. First, it was complex carbohydrate. Complex, complex carbohydrate. Yeah, right. it's like rice. Better if we choose like basmati or maybe like a uh, red uh, rice. rice. Yeah, and then we combine it with animal protein, of course. Animal protein and then plant protein. And don't forget to combine it too with various of vegetable. But remember, for vegetable, we need to limit uh, like vegetable that can cause blood. Mm, right. Yes, especially when sohor, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we can uh, lots of drink too mm -hmm. and limit some food like spicy food mm. or be acid food. Acidic. Yeah, and sweet food at the same time? What about sweet? Mm -hmm. Is it okay? Uh, sweet food or maybe sweet drinks actually can make our blood glucose spike too high and then it will down uh, very, very fast. Right. So it will make us uh, have risk of hypoglycemia, and then we can get headache. Ah, ah. Uh, well, that's in why the we need of fast. because of that, yeah? Yeah. yeah. But, but what about people who believe that during sahur, they have to consume dates as well? They believe that I can, that can actually make them, you know, uh, more energized to, you know, have a long day of uh, fasting. Okay, actually uh, we don't uh, we don't have to eat that dates, but we can uh, we can eat the dates when iftar after azan maghrib ah, of course. Right, right. Yeah. And we break our fasting, yeah. Yes, yeah. 
So Dr. Purtu, uh, I remember again, you always remind us to uh, eat a kind of complex hydro... Uh, Car carbohydrate, carbohydrate, yes. <laughs> carbohydrate. <laughs> carbohydrate. So yeah. re retell us again, why should we eat uh, that basmati and uh, red rice? You, um, you propose more than uh, just uh, like uh, common rice, let's say uh, with that word, yeah? yeah? Why? Yeah, because the complex carbohydrate has lots of fiber, had lots of vitamin, minerals, and antioxidant. Mm. So of course, it will make uh, our blood glucose more stable. Mm. Uh, it can make our digest uh, metabolism getting slower. So it won't make us um, hungry all the time. Mm. Yeah, and then of course, with the complex carbohydrate, we can stable our um, like a vitamin mineral during the day. Mm. What about fasting? people with diabetic? Do they have to have the same kind of uh, menu? Like with, uh, you mentioned red grain rice and also basmati rice. Although sometimes, because my mom-in-law has diabetes, yeah. she says, if you eat red grain rice, you will have um, easier you know, feeling of being hungry, like faster. I don't know whether it's true or not, or is it her feeling perhaps? Yeah, of course, for the diabetes people, we need to uh, eat complex carbohydrate. Mm -hmm. Because if they eat simple carbohydrate like uh, like noodles, pasta, maybe, that includes, yeah, pasta, or bread, yeah, it will make their uh, uh, spike glucose too high and ah. too fast. And of course, it has risk to hyperglycemic. In the middle of the day. In the middle of That's the day. Yeah. Yes. With, with the uh, what, uh, symptoms of headache. Yeah? yeah. Especially if they consume oral uh, drugs uh, for medicine. Medicine. yes for stabilize their blood glucose. What happens for diabetic people? Sorry, yeah, I, yeah, I that's just, right. uh, I'm <laughs> very curious <laughs> about more. diabetic diets uh, during fasting yeah? uh, Ramadan month. If they have that uh, blood sugar drop during the fasting day. What should they do? I mean, they should break the fast, right? At immediately. Yeah, of course. Someone that have a history of diabetes, mm -hmm. if they got hypoglycemic, uh, best for them is breaking the fast. Mm -hmm. And what to eat um, on the very first place? Better the simple carb carbohydrates like oh. dates. Ah. Yeah, like dates or maybe we can eat like coconut with uh, the water ah, or maybe okay. some fruits that can help to boost their uh, blood glucose. Blood glucose. Yes, oh, okay. that's right. So dates is categorized as a simple carbohydrate, uh, yeah? So uh, let's uh, still one more uh, step to uh, talk about the uh, complex carbohydrate. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, you've mentioned that we need to uh, consume it, whether it's sahur or when we break our fasting. Mm -hmm. For some people, they decided it's time for not eating of a complex carbohydrate during the Ramadan. What do you think? Is that correct a step for um, a proper meal during Ramadan or it's too extreme for you? Okay, we need to know that the best food, of course, are balanced diets. Mm. So the complex carbohydrate, need, uh, uh, we must to eat this complex carbo carbohydrate, of course. So if we skip this, it, uh, it won't make our body get the best health uh, effect from the fasting. Mm. Yeah. So, okay, so um, complex carbohydrates is needed, although yeah. you can have a little portion perhaps if you want to limit that so that it doesn't, you know, you're not so full yeah. <laughs> during the iftar, right? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, what about, okay, what about drinks? As mentioned before, uh, if you drink too much, you can be feeling nauseatic during the fasting uh, day. So, what? How, how much of drinks should we should we take? Okay, at least we can consume like eight glass of water. Yeah, in a day, like we can skip uh, at the schedule. Like first, we can drink it when we uh, wake up. Ah. And then the number two, when we after the suhur, uh -huh. mm -hmm. the number three before imsak, uh -huh. right. the number four when azan maghrib so iftar, iftar, yeah, then the five glass at uh, when we after salat maghrib, yes, the number six after we breakfasting meal, and the number seven after we got tarawih, 
Yeah, and the last before we before go, before we go, to we go. This goes with any liquid, or does it have to be pure water? Because you know, people during uh, attempt Ramadan to long. try any kind exactly. of exactly <laughs> syrups. Everything. Yeah. Okay. Of course, if we if if we talk about the best, the ideal drink, of course, the mineral, or maybe we can. Uh, we can choose like mm, infused water oh. or maybe juice. Mm. It, it, Fresh it's juice. okay, yeah. But yeah. of course, we need to limit the sugar. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that we cannot drink something sweet. But of course, we need to uh, think about the portion, about the frequency. Like, like chandel with this coconut. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so yummy. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a bowl for three of us is better than a bowl just for Akhir, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. You Indeed. can read my mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we need to, to, to discuss more about uh, what kind of appetizer, main mm. course, and also the dessert during the Ramadan. And perhaps but I think, detox. Yes, Some people detox. use this Ramadan month for detox. Yeah, but I think we need a break for uh, this. Uh, uh, segment, right? True. We're gonna discuss more after the break, so don't go anywhere.